Today I will be showing you how to make this Olaf pencil topper or charm and you'll need about 110 single rubber bands give or take. So let's get started. Let's make the gripper for Olaf taking a single twist double and coming from the first to the second peg by twisting it making an X in the center single twist double and we'll use four rubber bands single twist double We're covering again four pegs, crossing it in the middle. This is the first section for our topper. Like that. And the second one, we're just going to take a single and we're just coming down straight on our loom. And here we're going to put a button on him. So taking a single rubber band, I'm taking black, I'm going to loop it three times to create four loops on my hook. Taking my single and I'm going to pull those black bands onto my single and looping it on my loom from the first to the second peg and finish up looping with a single band around our four pegs and now we're going to go under grab the four bottom bands and looping it up to the center of our configuration. Make sure you grab all of the bands at the bottom, all four of them. And we'll do this a total of five times taking a single Again, repeating it, covering all four pegs. And I'm adding the button on the second one, which we just did, and on the fourth one. So this is the third time we're doing it. Once again, loop it up and over the center, taking the bottom two bands now. Pushing it down. This is my fourth Taking a single, I'm going to add another button, taking my button, looping it three times to create four loops, getting it onto my single band, like that, and attaching it to my loom. Once again, taking your single and covering all four pegs and looping up. The last one, taking my single, covering the four pegs on my loom, looping the bottom two bands over, pushing it down. I'm done taking the rubber band off the peg and looping it onto the peg across from it and just Take it all off the pegs and just looping it onto a single peg. So there's my topper gripper. Now I'm taking a single twist double, putting my hook through and getting it onto like a slip knot rubber band like that. And there's my gripper, putting it at the bottom of my loom to attach to my head later. Now let's make the top of the mouth, taking two single rubber bands, coming from the first center to the second and repeat on both sides, coming down once. And we'll close it up with two single rubber bands. And closing up the top of the mouth from the center second to the center third taking a single rubber band and creating a holding triangle on the second pegs across. Let's create his buck tooth, taking a single, looping it three times to create four loops on your hook like that, taking a single, twist, double it, and pulling those looped bands onto 
the single we doubled. So there's his tooth and we'll attach it to the third peg in the center. Like that. Let's make the carrot for his nose, taking two single orange rubber bands and I'm going to get one on my hook, get the other one, we're going to tie a slip knot. So I'm putting one through the other like that and getting it looped onto my hook like that and then pulling one side through to tie off a knot. So that's what you should have for your first two rubber bands for the carrot. Now take two single orange and we're looping it three times to create four loops. That's the top of your carrot nose, taking a single orange and looping it three times to create four loops. You can make it tighter if you want by looping it four times for five loops, but I'll keep it at four. Now we're taking the two bands we have the knot for, get the loops onto the hook like that. I'm holding the tight, the knotted end, and I'm pulling those bands onto the rubber band we tied a knot with two bands like that. So that's the tip of our nose and now we're going to scooch the rest of our carrot nose onto those two bands that we tied a knot in between. So there's the carrot nose and be careful don't pull it over the knot it'll unravel. Keep it on a hook. We're going to go under the, the buck tooth, grab the top two bands and pulling it up and onto the second center peg and we are going to attach his nose right onto these two rubber bands so taking it off the hook I mean on, off the loom onto your hook like that and very carefully slipping the carrot nose right onto those rubber bands and loop it back onto the second peg like that. Go back under the buck tooth, grab the top two bands and loop up and onto itself and repeat for the other side. Let's finish the sides by grabbing the bottom two bands and looping it up and onto itself and finally the center second and looping it up and onto the center first peg. Now taking your holding hook and getting those first peg rubber bands onto your hook and we'll put it aside to add to our face later. Here's the top of his mouth with the buck tooth and the nose ready to go. And now let's make the bottom of the mouth taking a single rubber band coming from the side first to the side second for both sides taking a single and we're coming diagonally from the second to the third center peg for both sides. We'll come down two times with a single rubber band on both sides. And let's come in and close it off. That's the bottom of our mouth. It should look like that. And now we'll come in down the center with a single rubber band to close up the bottom of our mouth. And that's what it should look like. Taking a single twist double and we'll create a holding band, create the holding triangle there from the fourth peg to the fourth peg and looping it up to the center fourth peg creating the triangle. Now these will be a, our um, connecting band. We're putting one on the fourth peg and the fourth peg in the center third and we're going to loop it once on those pegs. So taking a single band and just looping it once on those three pegs. 
that. Now we're going to go under the bottommost center peg, grab the top single, and loop up and onto the center, continue up the center to the third center peg. In the third center peg, reach in, grab the top single, and loop up to the side, and repeat for the other side. Our center is done. Go back in the bottom fifth peg, grab the top single, loop up onto the side it goes, and then just finish up that side by looping, reaching under, grabbing the bottom single, and looping it up. Repeat for the other side. Take it off the loom. Remember these are our hold, uh, attaching rubber band there. And there'll be one here. There's three of them. They're here, here, and here. Take it off our loom, put it on a holding hook these sides to attach to our face later. So there's our bottom of our mouth. Now let's make Olaf's face taking two single rubber bands from the center down one and repeat on both sides coming diagonally with two single rubber bands like that. Now for the side pegs we're taking a single coming down once for both sides so that's a single rubber band for both sides and now we'll come down the sides with three single rubber bands on both sides so that's three single rubber bands and both sides will come down twice. Taking a single now and coming from the fourth to the fifth peg on the side with a single rubber band for both sides. Taking two single rubber bands coming diagonally to the center for both sides like that. Let's come down the center with three single rubber bands once for the second set of three single rubber bands I'm taking two blacks and one white and putting it from the third to the fourth peg for the inside of his mouth again two black and one white for the next set. For the center of his mouth, it should look like that. In the last two, I'm taking two single whites coming from the fifth to the sixth peg and down the center. And that finishes our mouth. And let's make the eyes, taking, I'm making it black, taking a single rubber band, I'm looping it three times to create four loops, taking a single white, looping it twice on one side and twice on the other. Repeat for the other eye, taking a single rubber band, looping it three times to create four loops, taking a single white, looping it twice on one side and twice on the other. And if you can't this, do this on the hook, I did it on my baby panda on the loom, the eyes like this. Now since it's going on the face, I'm taking a single rubber band and pulling the eyes right onto that single white rubber band. And you can probably just use a single black and just looping it three times to create four loops and just pulling out the white onto the white rubber band. Since his face is white anyways, you won't be able to see the white on the outside. And now attach it to the second peg, to the second peg on your loom and split out the eyes. Taking a single rubber band, twist, double it, and attaching it from the first peg to the first peg for a holding rubber band. Again, single, twist, double, attaching at the bottom of his face, 
from that peg to that peg and taking a single black rubber band for his eyebrows attaching it from the first peg to the first peg just across like that. That's a single black for his eyebrow. Taking two single holding rubber bands and we'll attach it on the fourth peg all the way across creating a triangle for our holding rubber bands. That's two single rubber bands and now let's take the gripper off our loom and we'll attach it on the end peg here, the end center peg. And if you don't want it to be a gripper and you, you just want a head charm, just go ahead and loop that with a single band four times. So I'm putting my gripper onto that end peg like that. I'm going to go under, pull it back, go under, grab the top two bands, loop up and onto itself. And I'm going to loop up to the third center peg. So reach in, grabbing the bottom three bands, loop up and onto itself, reach in again, grab the next top three bands and loop up to the third center peg. Let's attach the bottom of the mouth, push these rubber bands down at the bottom here. We're attaching it on the third peg and the third peg. There should be two rubber bands on each. So attaching one side on the third peg on the left side and the other side two rubber bands off your hook on the third peg on the other side. So you attach it on the third peg and the third peg on the sides and now we are finding the two attaching rubber bands at the bottom and we're attaching it to the first peg at the bottom of his face to the first peg the bottom of his face. So now you attach it from the third peg to the third peg from the top and the fifth peg and the fifth peg at the bottom of his face and there should be a center rubber band, two of them, the holding rubber band at the bottom. We're attaching it to the center bottom of his face right there. So that's what you should have so far. And now we are going to go under all the bands and grabbing the top two. We should go right under either the cat band or the um, gripper bands and pulling the top two and looping it right onto itself. It should go either to the left or the right. Now loop up the side to the third peg on the side. So reach in grabbing the bottom single looping it up once and then reach in grabbing the bottom three single on the fourth peg and looping it to the third peg and stop there. Repeat on the other side, reach in grabbing the bottom single carefully looping it up and reach back in grabbing only the bottom three singles and looping it up to the third peg. Push that down. Let's attach this top of the mouth and we're attaching it to the third peg on the loom. So the third right, the third center, and the third left. And if you have to, use your hook to take it off of your holding hook. And there should be four single rubber bands that you're attaching per peg. So my first four making sure your carrot nose is facing up. Mine is attaching to the right third. The next set. I'm attaching it to the center third. Making sure you get all your rubber bands onto that peg. So my second set is attached to the center and my last one will go on the left side. So top of my mouth is on and yours should look like that. And now we are going to go under 
the left third peg, grab the bottom three bands, and loop up and onto the second peg and go in the second peg and loop up and continue looping the side to the center first peg and stop there. Repeat on the other side, go in, grabbing the bottom three bands on the third peg and loop up and onto itself and you want to see teardrops. Reach in the second peg, grab the bottom single, loop up and finish Shing up the side um, rubber bands and onto the center first peg. Now reach in the center. Third, grab the bottom three bands. Loop up and onto itself. And finally up to the center first. And that finishes Olaf's face. Taking two single black rubber bands for the hair on his top of his head, go in the center peg, grabbing those two bands and pulling it off to tie it off like that. Very carefully. And let's take his face off the loom. So there's Olaf, and you want to fix it so his buck tooth sticks down, fix his eyes, and fix his eyebrows. So it looks just the way you want it. Push his eyes out, and there's the bottom of his mouth. Kind of maneuver his nose, it'll just stick up and stick the end of your eraser into his the opening at the bottom for your topper if that's what you made it. And you can cut the top of his hair so it's scraggly. So there's your Olaf pencil topper or charm. I hope you like them. Thanks for watching.